Hey guys, so this video is going to focus on how to multiply matrices together. So when it comes to multiply matri multiplying matrices together, there's just a little bit of things that you do need to be aware of. So, uh, for example, our matrices do need to align appropriately. And what I mean by that, if we're looking at matrix A, matrix A is a two by three matrix. It has two rows, three columns. Matrix B, on the other hand, is a three by two matrix, right? It has three rows and it has two columns. In order for us to do matrix multiplication, these two numbers here need to line up. Notice uh, the back end of the first matrix is a three. The first end of the second matrix is a three. Those numbers need to be the same. If I had a two by three and then a four by three or something like that, this three and those four do not match up. I would not be able to do that multiplication there. One other thing to keep in mind is our resultant matrix, after we're done multiplying, is going to be these outside two numbers there. We are going to get a two by two matrix as our solution. The first number in that first matrix and the last number in the second matrix there. So we will be left with a two by two. Had we had a four by five and a five by two, then our answer would be a four by two there. So that's how you know what your ending matrix is going to look like. Otherwise, so we are going to get a two by two matrix. Here is our example, which means that we have one, two, three, four spots that we are going to have to fill in for. In order to get the first spot here, the top left spot, that is the first row, first column. So when we look at our matrices A and B, what we do is we take our first row and our first column. And this is the way that the multiplication works. We do the one times the seven, so that's one times seven, plus two times the nine, plus three times the 11. So it's the first item in the first row, first item in the first column, second item in uh, that row, second item in the column, third item in the row, third item in the column. So one times seven plus two times nine plus three times 11. What we get when we simplify this calculation down, that's what's gonna go in this one by one spot right here, first row, first column. So one times a seven there is going to give us a seven plus two times nine is an 18 plus three times 11 is 33 and whenever we add all of this together here so let's see we have seven plus 18 which is 25 plus 33 is going to give us a 58 so that means in the first row for first column we're going to have a 58 there. Otherwise, if we want to go ahead and move on here, so let's now do first row, second column there, so that top right spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our first row, and now we're looking at the second column. So first times first, that's one times eight, plus the second times the second, so that's two times ten, plus the third times the third, so that's three times twelve. Then we need to go ahead and multiply this all together. So one times eight is eight. Two, ooh, excuse me. So then we need to go ahead and multiply this together. So one times eight is eight, plus two times 10 is 20, plus three times 12 is 36. So when we add all of this together, so eight plus 20 is 28. Um, and then 28 plus 36 is equal to 64. So the top right position is a 64. So then let's go ahead and move to the bottom left position over here. So if we're doing second row, first column spot, so now we're looking at the second row, the four, five, and the six, along with the first column, the seven, nine, and 11. So it's first times first, so that is four times seven plus second times second, which is five times nine, plus third times third, so we have six times an 11. So four times seven there gets us 28, 
5 times 9 gets us 45, and 6 times 11 is 66. And when we add all of that up, 28 plus 45 is 73, plus 66 there is going to give us a 139. So that means we have a 139 in this bottom left slot. And then the last part that we need to fill in, so we're trying to do second row, second column. So our second row in the first one and our second column in the second matrix. So that's going to give us first times first, which is four times eight, plus second times second, so that's five times ten, plus third times third, that is six times a twelve. Multiplying out here, four times eight is forty-two, plus five times ten is fifty, plus six times twelve is a seventy-two. And when we add that together, we get thirty-two plus fifty, which is eighty-two, plus seventy-two gets us one fifty-four. So we can fill in that 154 there, and we finally have our two by two solution matrix here, 5864, oh, and then 139, 154. So that is how you do matrix multiplication. Otherwise, that is it for this video.